Attack OP Destiny is not that bad of an anime for you guys to watch. It just takes like an element such as music and to drive it into its own little narrative of attracting these monsters called Deets 2s that anywhere where music is they will come and appear and destroy whatever it, whatever within its paths and everything and how people in the organize in the music art industries or music art organization as they were meant to only to um per defeat these D2s one of them Actually, two people are actually more so corrupted to use these D2s to wipe out humanity, to make it a utopia, like a paradise, to make it free, to sacrifice the whole world, to make it a whole better place and everything. And I just find that so fucking, oh man, it was just surprising at the, at the end to learning that, excuse me, that's what the villain wanted to do with that. But, you know, with Tack, Tack is um, not that bad of a character or not that bad as an MC. He's his more so like what he wants to do is just create music and just sit in his home and just play in his piano. Literally this guy gives no fucking shits at all until the incident that brought him and his child and his childhood friend um torn apart but also close together of her as her she has become a music art and music art are these entities that were meant to only to destroy the d2's um creatures and everything and they have their maestro to command them to um choreographer their attacks and everything and i gotta tell you the fighting that's in this fucking anime is fucking amazing because they put like classical music behind it which each and every sound of the movement that they make like with sword slashing gun shooting like all that just choreographers with like classical music behind that and it's not like it's out of sync it's per i feel like it's perfectly in sync to watch the maestros with their music arts fight d2s and then with one another against each other and it was just really fucking great to honestly watch that so the whole plot of this is just for tack and his accomplice anna anna to go to new york i'm pretty sure to find a way to cure or to cure tack and destiny because destiny is a music art and every time tack unleashes destiny from his childhood friend like unleashes her um destiny honestly takes his life force away and every time he pushes his limits with destiny to destroy these d2s to give her more power he you know he honestly like takes more and more of his life away his uh, his life force and you can honestly see in the anime that um more and more of his um body is um going like red like almost like a two-faced like and at almost to the end of the plot technically the he did not die and destiny did not die as well it's kind of weird of how destiny went out it's like she's there but she's not there it's not like she's completely dead because i with their both of their bonds before destiny i fucking forgot her name but yeah but destiny i'm just gonna keep calling her that but um yeah they both shared like their special um connection before the incident with d2's coming to their hometown with attack and her being together and it transformed destiny into a music art of her own and completely wipe off her previous life and everything so it was really wholesome to have moments in this um anime where it's not really philly but it's just like destiny growing more to understand human emotions and just like what she likes to do and she, this girl likes to fucking eat a lot of fucking food and sweets and everything so it was really um good to um it was, it was really good to watch her character grow it's not not being like a bot that takes orders to like having more human emotions and life within herself and it was just great to see and tack is not that strong as a mc as people hope he is because all this man wants to do is create music and everything and not really care too much but he decided well not really it was anna that decided hey we are, we're going to New York to find a way to help you too. So it was more so like 
not on his, but like partially his, but mostly like Anna to help with those two cases. And there was this one character named Lenny. Lenny is literally my fucking favorite character in this fucking anime. I'm telling you right now. Him and his connection to have um, Tak and his father, because his father used to be a wind, like a symphony orchestra or like a maestro of himself, like in a band or whatever the fuck. And I just love how um his like how his story played out. That he is trying to help out Tak as well, and not to hopefully not to disappoint tax father that he mentors very much i like that fucking connection that they had there and that their relationship was established there i love that so much watching that and again with the flights and everything which is really good i really enjoyed all of it all around but i, I can't i can't i can't speak out for everybody because everybody has a different interpretation of this anime but you know besides tag not being like a strong character and so maybe at the end since he got a little bit of closure with destiny establishing the relationships like both of their relationship like they're like really good like they're getting better as they are with each other besides shit talk each other saying that oh she's a worthless music or she's calling him a worthless maestro and all that i like seeing that put to a side and to put what's forward ahead of them i like seeing all that good stuff and you know to the end where Destiny was fighting that one bitch with the demon and like the hell thing. It was great. Like <laughs> and that was just really that was really entertaining to watch. But I don't think this might just end because I feel like there's more more at stake um to show because I'm pretty sure this has like another there there's probably more to it than how the anime ended but you know I'm I'm honestly excited to see if it gets a second season release I want to see what happens because I'm pretty sure Attack at some point is going to wake up from his coma and then Destiny is gone as much as i love how she was changing over time and her loving tag so much it was just really fucking great to see her and tag to be separated permanently which is a little bit heartbreaking to me because i just love how they are with each other it was just like wow they the characters were just like thrown away like that their whole relationship was just thrown away like that it i was a little bit a little bit disappointed but it just helps to serve the plot like that but uh, yeah, guys, I'll have to give this anime, I guess, maybe a good solid seven. I'll give it a, I'll give it a good solid seven. It really does have a, a good plot. I love the characters, and the fucking OP is so fucking great, man. Like, oh, it's just really great. And the fucking animations that they used for the opening was just fucking fire. I love it. And you know, for being twelve episodes, it actually, you know. I, I don't think the pacing was that bad, but I felt like it should be slowed down a little bit because I don't I don't want it to be too rushed, but I don't want it to be too slow. You gotta find like that sweet spot. But anyways guys, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about Tac OP Destiny. If you like it or not, let me know. If not, that's a okay with me. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sunday Ghost 39 and I hope y'all have a wonderful morning, night, day, evening, whatever the occasion is. I'm gonna see you all, lovely ladies and gentlemen, in the next one. See ya, take care. Bye.